Hey swimmers, welcome back to this part two episode analyzing athlete Tajana Schoonmaker's 200 meter breaststroke, specifically on her turn and how she's able to maintain momentum off the wall. And that is through four key highlights. And that is her body position, which I will point out, her energy and drive from the tuck phase of the turn, tuck meaning when her knees drive in, also her landing or foot placement on the wall, followed by that full extension off the wall when she is gliding. So I'm going to go through those four key points. So you're going to be looking at it from two separate views, one from an aerial shot as well as underwater from the side. So I'm going to break down those four key points so you can see how she has the ability to maintain her momentum and think of it more of as she's swimming towards the wall, think of like a slingshot. She's very quick, but she's driving her energy towards the wall and then transferring it from that quick turn off the wall in her um, underwater pullout. So pay attention to those four key points as we move forward in this video. And before we move forward, if you find that this channel is valuable, hit the subscribe button to show your support and you'll be notified every week for new videos to help with your swim practice. All right, swimmers, let's get to the video. So as she's headed towards the wall, she takes her final breath at the T and glides fully into the wall, keeping her head down and her spine totally neutral. So see as she touches right here, slingshots off the wall. So I'm going to go through that again, slow down right here, freeze frame. You can see full extension of her legs to the tops of her feet, full extension from her arms and her head is neutral. So she's really maximizing that length as she drives that momentum towards the wall. As she fully extends on that final stroke, she's just sending that energy towards the wall, which you will see in the next frame. She's able to drive that energy and tuck her knees in fully. So you see right here, she plants her feet at a diagonal. She tucks her, her knees in and she it's planted her feet at an angle to where her body position is at an angle. The reason for that is you are the least resistant off the wall on your side versus flat. So there's absolutely no stalling. She keeps it quick, as I said before, like a slingshot, and she drives that momentum off the wall. So you can see her body position here completely at that angle. So in just a moment, she's going to push off full extension. Boom complete length and body line off the wall after that quick turn. All right, so I'm highlighting the same key points from the underwater view. See how she keeps that turn quick and drives that momentum off the wall. So if you see right here in this freeze frame, she's completely tucked her knees in and notice her feet as well. They're still extended, still pointed. So that way, when she pushes off the wall, she's going to push off with a full extension of her body line. And that is from what I was explaining in the aerial view. So right here, she is positioning herself to plant her feet at an angle. And once her feet touch that wall quickly, she's going to power off the wall with her legs. That's more of a muscular effort off the wall and drives that into a full extension of her body line. That means her arms are fully extended, her back, her head, her core is engaged, and her legs are fully extended, as well as her feet, which creates that small profile for her to move off the wall quickly and efficiently. So you see right here as I zoom in on her feet, you see that full extension with her feet and legs. And that is how she's able to stay fluid, minimal resistance. And that is the key to having a very fluid and powerful breaststroke turn. All right, swimmers, if you're interested in learning how to improve your breaststroke open turn, click the top right hand corner as I have some useful videos to help with your swim practice. And of course, give this video a thumbs up, share it on social, and I will see you all next week.